Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange who? Orange, you glad I didn't say banana? <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Chris and welcome to Cross Shop. Today on Cross Shop, I'm bringing you an unboxing video of a console that I've wanted to add to my collection for quite a while. You've seen the title of this video, you know what it's about. It's the Japanese Spice Orange Nintendo GameCube and Game Boy Player set. And I'm thrilled because it shipped super fast from Japan. I actually just ordered this, I think four or five days ago. It got here really quickly. I got it at work today. I can't wait to open it up. So. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay guys, so as you can see here, I've got a Japan Post Express Mail box here. It looks like there was a little bit of damage up here on the side. Hopefully it didn't go in too far into this package, but otherwise it looks like it was packed pretty well. I don't think I've gotten anything from Japan or for any other international country for that matter since I got my Emerald Blue GameCube controller last year. So this is kind of an exciting time, but enough beating around the bush, we'll go ahead and dive in. I'm gonna start by carefully cutting these corners and getting some of this tape off. I'm going to now try to lift this just straight out of the box. And there we go. They packed this very well. Lots of good bubble wrap, as well as some tissue paper. Dang. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. It's got a little Kirby sticker in there. They've got my name. And now we'll go ahead and open this up. Dang. Okay guys, so as you can see here, we've got the Japanese Spice Orange Nintendo GameCube complete with the Game Boy Player, also in Spice Orange. It's even got the little Game Boy Advance logo there, some Japanese text that unfortunately I cannot read, as well as a Japanese sticker here. On this side, we've got just some more information and a kind of a profile view of the system as well as the Spice Orange controller. Same kind of thing here, a little bit more stylish of a look at it on this side. And unfortunately, some tape removal damage here. Uh, that's not from my opening. I recall seeing that on the listing on eBay that I won. On this side, we've once again got a black front with just the packaging style and the name of the contents. And on the back side of this box, we've got some information showing you how to attach the Game Boy Player to the bottom of the Spice Orange GameCube itself, a listing of the contents, including the AC adapter. Should also have, I believe, a set of a composite video cable and some RCA cables. I'm assuming it's listing some other information about connectivity and the types of Game Boy cartridges that the Game Boy player accepts down here. Okay, and since this side is the one that's kind of got the most damage on here, and I think I'm gonna open it from this side so as to uh, prevent myself from trying to open any other parts that haven't been opened before and that might be a little better preserved. So we'll go ahead and dive in here. <laughs> We've got, of course, the Game Boy Player boot-up disc, Japanese version. That's pretty awesome. It's still got the manual in there, too. Dang. You won't probably be able to tell there. It doesn't appear to have any scratches on it, which is great. Just a little bit of smudging. Possibly someone had wiped it on their shirt to kind of try and remove any other smudges and things like that. So it's got just some little squigglies on there, but those will come off easily enough. So that's good. Glad that that's in good shape. And let's see, we'll go ahead and take out the Game Boy Player. This is something I'm really excited to be adding. Awesome that they made this in this color. I may switch this out with my black one that I've currently got affixed to my Indigo GameCube out in my living room. Next, we'll take out the console, I think. And this top section appears to be fine. It doesn't look like it's heavily scratched or anything. It does appear to have been smudged a little bit, but otherwise all right. The power button seems to depress and release just okay um, without any issue, just fine, I should say. The reset button feels as it should. The open functionality seems to be working okay. A little slow there. Let's try that again. Seems like it's a little slow, but still works fine. Side here with the fan looks okay. Dang. Back also looks fine. I'm also very glad that this is another model with the digital AV out port um, in case I ever find one of the <laughs> sets of super expensive 
GameCube component cables, or better yet, once the GC video project by Badass Consoles is complete, I'm hoping to be able to upgrade my GameCube video quality using original hardware pretty soon. So that's a pretty cool project to keep an eye out on. If you haven't heard of that or seen it, I'll go ahead and post a link to some of the resources about that below. Now the front looks okay. It looks like it has had some of the classic discoloration that affects Super Nintendo and some other uh, Nintendo plastic that they use. Um, I may be able to clean that off. I know that there's plenty of good resources for doing so online. A little bit of a smudge there, but otherwise there don't appear to be too many cosmetic flaws at all. The bottom seems to be fine. <laughs> We've got the original instructions here, it appears, also in Japanese, of course. Even the instructions about the controller, probably some kind of warning information. Oh, it's some other kind of little disc. I wonder if this is a bonus disc of some kind or a demo. I'm actually not even sure what this is at all. Um, if any of you guys happen to know what this is, please let me know in the comments below. It's still kind of cool that there's an extra little thing in there. I'll put that actually with the Game Boy Player boot up disc. Next we'll remove the controller. Thankfully I already have another Spice Orange controller. It's one that I bought here in the States. Interestingly, the Spice Orange controller was sold as a standalone here in North America, uh, but you could not buy the Spice Orange GameCube or the Spice Orange Game Boy Player, as I said. So it's kind of interesting that they chose to release just this. And this seems to be in pretty good shape. The stick is nice and tight for the most part, as is the C stick. The buttons feel all right. A uh, little bit of wear on the back, but that's okay. As I mentioned, I have a nearly flawless condition Spice Orange controller that I bought myself. So yeah, that is the Japanese Spice Orange Nintendo GameCube plus Game Boy Player. And also in that box, of course, is the set of composite and RCA cables. Set those back there, as well as the AC adapter. Well guys, that was my unboxing of the Spice Orange Japanese GameCube and Game Boy Player. I hope you enjoyed seeing this as much as I did. It was pretty awesome to open this up finally and to be able to add it to my collection. It's one that I've been after for a long, long time. Anyway, I want to know, what did you guys think of this GameCube? And is this something that you would hope to add to your collection? Let me know in the comments below. And if this was your first CrossChop video and you liked what you saw, please subscribe. Thanks for hanging out at CrossChop today and play heavy. <laughs>